everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making a mini glassware black cat. This is thanks to Peggy Johnson because she suggested that I make a little cat to be a companion to the witch that I made last week. Now if you didn't see how I made this, I will go ahead and link the video in the description box below. Okay, so let me tell you what the supplies are going to be for my little cat and we'll get to crafting. Alright, so for my black cat's body, I'm going to be using these tea light or votive candle holders. These are about three and a half inches tall and they're about three inches wide. The top here is about two and a half inches open right here. So if you want to know the approximate size of this, it doesn't say on the bottom. By the way, most of these items or pretty much all of, all of it is from the Dollar Tree as well as it was for my witch. So if I do use anything that's not from the Dollar Tree, I will let you know if I do decide to grab that. Because again, I'm sort of doing this on the fly. I have an idea of what I want it to look like. I haven't decided quite yet uh, what it is going to look like. Okay, but you don't have to use these smaller ones. You could use the larger bowls, like the ones that I used on the top of my witch. This particular bowl at the Dollar Tree, they have it in this size, which I'm going to call it a large or medium, whatever, and then they have a smaller one, okay? So they have two two sizes, and for some reason they have one on one side of the aisle and the other on the other side of the aisle. So there are two sizes, one's a little bit bigger and one's a little bit smaller. So you can grab those two and use a smaller one on the top, if you prefer, so you could do that, and uh, then have it be almost the size of the witch, if you like that size. I decided to go for the little teeny tiny size because I thought it'd be a heck of a lot cuter. Okay, so, I'm going to be using some of the paper shred that I used on my witch, and I don't know why I didn't pull it out of the box, but I've got this black paper decorative shred is what it's called, and it's just this little, you know, little curly-ish paper, and I've got uh, plenty of that to fill, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to use any of this webbing and stuff that I used on my witch. I'm going to put it over to the side just in case, but all that was from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I grabbed a package of tinsel stems or chenille stems or pipe cleaners, whatever you want to call them. And I got them in black because I'm going to be using them for other projects, but I think I need maybe just one for this particular project. So I'll grab one from there. Uh, I did grab these. And I used one of them for my witch inside of her little head. So I'm going to use another one of these little pumpkins again it's only a dollar and it had five pieces on there and I'm only going to use one more so I still have three in there to work with this is a great value I've got the same ribbon that I used on my witch's hat it says trick or treat I don't have very much of it left over but I think it's just enough to decorate on my little cat so I'm going to use that little ribbon thankfully I got little jars because I forgot to buy more ribbon and then also I had these little bat Clips. It was a package of two. I used one in my witch, and I'm going to use one here. Um, I do have some purple glitter. This is not from the Dollar Tree. This is from Hobby Lobby, actually. It was three dollars. Um, you can use the glitter if you want it or not. I think I'm going to sprinkle some inside of the jar. I did go ahead and buy this roll of sparkle tool. I had a purple one that I used on my witch, but I thought, you know, I'm going to get a grab a black one because I could use it for other projects, and I think I might use some of this. On my kitty cat, they had this cute little package of googly monster eyes. I had two to choose from. They had the one without the lashes, and they had the one with the lashes. Again, this is a Dollar Tree. Look at that. They're so cute in there. And I might use these. I don't know. I might. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, I do have a product that I already had here at home, and I don't recall where I got it, but I do know that you can get it at the craft stores like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure if Walmart would carry anything like this, but if you if they have anywhere where they have the boas or the feathers, this is where you'll find this kind of a trim, or maybe even look where the ribbons are. This is a feather boa ribbon. I have this. Or you could use something that's maybe like a little furry bit. And I like this because it's all the way around. And I thought this would be cute for the tail of my cat. It's so cute. But anyway, uh, if you cannot find this, I did decide to search around the Dollar Tree because I gave myself a little bit of a challenge, again, to try and get everything from there. And I found this spider web. Look at the spider web. And look at what it has right on it. It has that little sparkly little garland thing on it. And I was looking at it and I'm like, ooh, it does come off. It's like it attached at certain points. 
I'm not sure how it's attached. Let me see if I can pull that off. Oh, I can't because it looks like it's just like, ooh, my black shirt. What a great idea to wear that when we're working on black. Okay, here we go, like that. It's kind of like a little clippy clip there, little bits there where this was kind of like clipped into there. So all I had to do was pull it off. So I'm thinking that maybe if I pull this off, I can create a little tail out of this and maybe on the top of his head because my little black cat is not going to have a hat. He's going to have a little tail and that's why I'm thinking that I'm going to use the uh, the tool. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be using my glue gun, glue sticks. I'm probably going to be using my scissors. I might use my wire cutters. I will need a little bit of floral wire so that I can tie up my little bow uh, if I make a bow. Um, and that's it, okay? So you just need some simple tools. You do need your glue, glue gun. If you want this to be really permanent and stay glued together, then use an E6000 glue or a Gorilla Glue if you prefer to use that. Uh, the Dollar Tree does have a glue that you can use. Uh, I prefer not to use it if you're very sensitive to scents because it is a very strong. So anyway, let's get to crafting. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to remove uh, this garland bit off of this uh, spider web. Now you're probably thinking, oh, the spider web's so cute. Why are you destroying it? Because uh, I want the garland. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to attempt to remove this right here. I can't seem to do it, so I'm just going to cut that off. But over here, it's just like like woven into those little clips. So I'm just gonna pull it off. I got a little piece right there. Get that. Okay, well, I, I guess I have to cut it off again. All right, here we go. We're just gonna clip off some pieces off of here and cut it off because it doesn't come off any other way. I'm gonna just trim, trim, trim. I could actually use this uh, plastic uh, leftover uh, spider web for maybe something else. Let's see what happens if I, you know, it's like, oh, it's like tied around. Okay. All it was, it was just twisted around. So just, let's see. This one doesn't want to do the same thing. Oh, because it's twisted the other way. Okay. And then, I don't know. I get lost, so I'm going to cut it. Okay. I don't know if I have enough cut off of there. I, this is really cute. You can use it on a lot of other things. So if you're going to make a lot of bunch of little kitty cats, of course, it's going to be worth taking all this off. I think it's worth taking it off, you know, because, you know, who's going to go searching for this and maybe pay more? This one was $5, this roll. It was $4.99. But let me tell you, I've had this for years, so who knows how much it costs now. And as a matter of fact, I have seen it at Hobby Lobby now, now that I think about it. Uh, but I don't know how much it is. So instead of spending five dollars and using a little bit of that and you don't know if you're going to use it again uh get yourself this it's only a dollar little bits okay we prepared that so now i've got some bits there that wasn't too hard to uh remove uh it won't be for you because now you know how to do it okay i've got my little votives here and i'm going to fill them up with paper shred so let's get that i don't want to put the webbing on this like i did the witch because I don't have any more spiders. Okay, otherwise I would, because I did like that effect. I'm just gonna trim these up a little bit because they're, they like to get all over the place and be troublesome. Okay, I'm just gonna cut them up a little bit. All right, let's see if I need to do it anymore. And then I kind of crunch them up a little bit too, like this. Now let's just stuff it in there. Make it nice and full. Now, if you want to give this a little bit of pizzazz, you can get some Mod Podge and brush it inside, on the inside, because I think it would be better on the inside, with some of this glitter. I'm going to just sprinkle the glitter, you know, kind of in there, so it just kind of shakes around a little bit onto the... Um, and you might not be able to even see the effect. I have no idea. We'll find out. Okay, I'm just going to pour some little bit of glitter in there. Probably should pour a lot. But anyway, here we go. Let's put this on camera view. My goodness, I'm getting off camera. Let's get that in there. Okay. Now, I've done both of them, and I want one of them to be my head. So this is where I'm going to be making some decisions. Do I want to completely fill both of them? Or do I want to put a little pumpkin head in there? In the head part like I did the witch. Do I want to use a little googly eyes? Okay, you guys, you know what I decided I'm going to do? The body's going to be all, and since this one's already got some glitter in there, I'm just going to pour some more glitter just so it's all over the place and you can shake it up and glitter will just come 
sprinkling down all over on the inside. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to leave that one full. I'm going to take this out, put it over here. And remember the other one I did it with, um, I did it with the uh, a little bit of a styrofoam so that it would lift it up. Let's do the same. I had a little piece left over. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to cut like a little, little tower. I'm going to glue my pumpkin onto there. Yeah, I did turn on my glue gun for a minute there. I thought I hadn't done it. Oh, there we go. Let's get some on there. Now, just to make it different, I'm going to grab my googly eyes. and uh, There they are. A little googly eyes. Uh, here we go. Let's open that up. Let's make a mess. Let's open those up because I don't know which ones I want. I like these big ones. But not the not the real big ones because they're like different sizes. It has that size, this size, and then this size. So it has three sizes in there. And I like the, uh, no, actually I like the green. But the green are not, let me see because I'm thinking that I want to put these on the jack-o'-lantern. That looks cute. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the jack-o'-lantern. And I'm going to use these bigger ones. They look so ridiculously cute. Oh my God, the blue ones look better. Oh my goodness. Let me show you close so that you can decide on your own what you think you might want to do instead. But if you have the package, you'll, you'll be able to try them out. Okay, here we go. Okay, maybe the maybe the medium ones. Let's do the blue ones. The little ones are pretty because they have purple, and I thought that would match the witch, but uh, I think they're too small. I mean, they're, they're just the right size, actually, for this, but... I want some big bulgy eyes. Okay, let's get these glued onto our pumpkin. Little drop of glue. There we go. Oops. One more eyeball on the other side. There we go. Look at that. Okay, that's just silly. Okay, let's see how this looks in here because we're going to do the same thing. We're going to compare, and obviously this is too long, the styrofoam, because look at the head. It's way up here. So I'm going to have to trim that, and it looks like I have to trim about, ooh, whoa, about half of that styrofoam off. So we only needed a tiny little block. And the styrofoam, uh, you can get it at Dollar Tree. They have it. Let me see. I think I have a package here. Well, this was one of the long pieces of styrofoam that they have at the Dollar Tree. You can certainly cut it, but they also have it in a little package of like, oh, here we go. I have one of four of these little blocks. And then they also have it in white. I've seen it in white. Um, you just need little pieces. So if they have the styrofoam, let's say in a little round, flat, like a, like a little wreath, grab that because you could just cut that up and use it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm trying to be like super clean here. I don't know why I jumped that out. I'm gonna put some in there anyway. Okay, let's put some glue on our pumpkin and stick them in there. Because it's the same idea that we used on the witch. Just stick them in there. There's a cute little head. He's off to the side a little bit. Let's uh, Okay. Now I lifted him up, so if, if you do that, you probably want to lift him all the way and add some more glue because uh, the way that I did it, I, it's probably not completely, you know, the glue, the hot glue dries really fast. Okay, so now I'm going to trim my paper shred. I'm looking at my camera because I'm making sure I am still recording because on my witch, this part cut off where I'm trimming it. And the reason that I'm trimming it is because I want it to be smaller pieces and I want it to fall to the bottom because these longer pieces, they kind of like cling to the top or they stand and they hide your project. So you want to cut them up, just trim them like that, and then just shake this around so it goes to the front. And I still have the little stick from the pumpkin so I can use that to maneuver the shred. On the sides and on the back, I don't care if it covers, but I just don't want it to cover the little face of my pumpkin. Okay, let's see. I think that looks so cute in there. My goodness. I may have put her a little too forward, but that's okay. Look at that. Let's move this down a little bit. Can you see that? A little pumpkin in there with a little paper shred. 
Okay, there we go. That's good. I don't think I need... Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to put more in the back. Just in the back part. The sides in the back here. Let's see. I don't want this little piece on her face, so I'm just going to use my little stick. And just make sure that it's, like, tight in there, the, the little paper, so it doesn't, like, move around too much. I'm making her all coat, or him. It's a him. What are we going to call our little black cat? We didn't give her a witch a name, and we we can give her a name now. Okay, let's go ahead and... I'm just going to put the rest of this in here. And I'm just going to squish it down because it pops up. And now, I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. And that's super simple. So the idea is just to fill this up. I'm going to put some glitter in this one too, so... When I shake it up, all that glitter bounces around. I'm doing some more in there. Okay. Let's get some glitter on the edge. Like I said, if you're going to use, you want this to be permanent, E6000, little dots. It's all you need. You don't need to put it all the way around. Uh, and then just go ahead and put your item there and let it dry eight hours or overnight. Um, I'm using my glue gun because, like I've mentioned before, I do take things apart. And I do want it to dry quick just for the video. Okay, and I might end up taking this apart and using these little voters for something else, but for now, it's going to be Halloween. Okay, there we go. That's super easy to put together. Look at that. Okay, so now I want to uh, put something on the top here because I'm going to put little ears and I'm going to put the little fuzzy bits here. And of course, I'm going to make a little tail. So now you can take a piece of, uh, of a poster board and make a tiny little circle that'll just be enough for this little spot. Or you could take the end of your spool of ribbon, the little circle thing here, put that on there. I'm gonna glue it, oh, it doesn't really matter. You could paint this, you could paint one side of this so that uh, when you put it down, you don't see the white. I'm not gonna care too much about that. So I'm just gonna put some dots of glue and you're probably thinking, well, shouldn't you trim that? Yes, we're going to trim it. But I'm going to trim it once it's on there because um, it'll be a lot more trouble to try and get a perfect circle down. Now, you can do that. Go for it. I'm just getting it on there. It's not even like, as long as it's touching all the edges. I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to wait a little bit and I'll be back. And then I'm just going to trim it so that it's not overlapping the edges. But this is what I've done so far. Okay, there we go. And we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And I've gone ahead and I've cut up more pieces of this uh, little kind of a chenille looking uh, trim from the spider web or pulled it off. And uh, I've got my tool open and uh, my bat. Oh, I didn't grab my little chenille stems, the actual wired chenille stems. I didn't grab any out of the packaging. I was already putting stuff away. I think I only need one. I'll grab a second one just in case you know, ideas pop into the head. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so this is basically all that I have to decorate, really. Not very much. You can have obviously decorate a lot more than what I'm doing, uh, but I'm just giving you an idea. Let's put our little witchy witch over here so she's cute. Over here you can see her kind of. I had my uh, measuring stick here because I didn't know if I was gonna measure anything, uh, but I did measure the jar and I let you know what size that was. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim as close to the edge here as I can because I don't want that overshadowing the little face even though we did that to the witch we're not going to do this to this because it's so small all right so what we want to do to to our little cat head is we want to cover it with this stuff here I don't know what to call it our spider webbing chenille trim okay let's see is that close enough let me give it a little bit of a, a little more. There's some spots. Now while you're trimming this, if it pops up, just put some little glue underneath and glue it back down. And you know what I just realized too? I was going to put the white side down uh -huh, so that the <laughs> lettering wouldn't be showing on the bottom. So don't make that mistake like I did. Paint it. Use a little bit of craft paint like I did the, the hat on the witch. I used some purple uh, paint to paint that first. Okay. I'm going to take, a, let me take a little piece here so I don't have to cut a big one. 
Okay, these are the smallest ones. I'm gonna see if this goes all the way around. Almost. It almost goes all the way around. I'm gonna put this around her or his little neck. Let's get her a little closer to us. I'm gonna put some around his little neck. He doesn't go all the way, but I'm just gonna use this small piece and then I'll grab another small piece and just keep um, just putting glue, gluing it down, stick it. Do a little section at a time so your hot glue doesn't dry up too fast. And then you could also maneuver this nicely. Any webbings of glue, just let, leave them. Don't try to pull them off, which I almost did right now. Uh, I get very antsy when I see them. Uh, don't remove them because all you're doing is just smearing them into the glass. Okay, let me get another little piece from here to finish off all the way around. There's still quite a bit of this on the spider web. This is, I, I removed most of this. I mean, all of that, uh, but um, there's still lots of it on there. I removed most of it off the web is what I should say. Let me show you what it looks like right now because there's still some on there. There's a web and there's still some on there. Now, wouldn't it be fun to take this web and wrap it up with some little lights, just the plastic part? That'd be cool. Put it outside. Okay, now that the webs of glue have dried, I can go ahead and wipe them off. I'm gonna close this little hole here because I wanna shake it up and see if my glitter, I yeah, it does work. My little glitter idea did work. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but there's little glitter everywhere. I, I'm not covering the little hole here so it doesn't pop out of there. And just shake it up and then you can see the glitter everywhere. That looks great. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and cover the top part also with all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll start off with the uh, little shorter bits, I guess. You know what? I'm going to save this one. Let me save two of these for the little tail. I'll go ahead and start off with this longer one. Why not? Uh, just start off in the back area somewhere. Make sure you're getting it right on the edge. And we're just going to twirl this inward until we've got the whole top covered. But uh, I want to try something before I completely cover it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to roll in um, this whole part to this, to this, to at least this other end. And then I'm going to go in one more time. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back. All right, so I've got two rows of this... Uh, little black trim on top of the uh, little kitty cat. But before I continue, I wanted to take these chenille stems because I wanted to form little ears. So I'm gonna take about, I'm gonna say three inches and see that's good enough. I'm gonna fold it. I'm not gonna cut it yet. And I think that sticks out just enough. So I'm gonna do three inch. Another three inch. And again, fold it in half like a little a little V like that. Did you even see it or did I do it too fast? There we go. A little V like that. Okay, so now I want to glue these to the top of my head, but I want to see where his the face is right here, okay. Put lots of glue on the little tippies. I'm going to stuff that into that little bit there. Get that right there. And twirl it around, get it in there. Do the other ear the same. Let me tighten it up a little more. There we go. Okay. See what I did? My little ears. Put that right on there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and continue weaving this and gluing this around, and I'll just go in between the ears, try not to knock them over, and then before I get to the middle, I'll stop and then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing there. 
All right, I've gone ahead and I filled up quite a bit of it. I still got that little center part to go. Again, if you're using a little piece of poster board to make your little circle or a little cardboard, you're not gonna have that little hole there, okay? I'm only, I only have that hole there because I was using this little cardboard from the spool of a ribbon. Uh, sorry, my table is going crooked here. Uh, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting this into little pieces so it's a lot easier to maneuver. Just kind of curve it, stick it in the glue. Another little piece, the front area here. Curve this and stick it in there. Use your, use your scissors to press it down. Okay, there's a whole bunch of little webs here everywhere now that I can go ahead and pull off. Uh, I just mentioned in the last video uh, that it, there was a, one of you guys, one of you lovely ladies or gentlemen, I'm not sure, I don't remember who it was, suggested using a blow dryer uh, to blow off all the webs, they will melt off and they'll be easily come off instead of you know trying to pull them off and then just stretching them even more. And huh, well, anyway, that's what you can do. I'm just <laughs> wiping it off with my hands because they're already dry. Okay, so now I've got the center here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tulle because you know little kitty cats sometimes have a little tuft of hair at the top, and I could take a whole bunch of these and just stick them up board like that, but I'm gonna take a little square of tulle, and let's see. This tulle, I think it's six inches wide. Yeah, they're six inches wide, so I'm just gonna do another six inches, like so. It doesn't have to be perfect, because I'm probably gonna trim this, okay? And I'm just gonna grab it from the middle, pinch it, and let's take a little piece of wire and grab that so let's get some wire here my wire cutters my roll of floral wire is a mess but I'm still using it and I'm using this one to cut off little pieces so um, I don't care that it's all tangled up okay let's move you over to the side because you're not pretty to look at okay so now we're just gonna put this wire here there we go and just Put this up close. See what that is? I'm just grabbing a little tip and just wrapping that rib, that wire around it. Now, just to make sure that the uh, tool doesn't pop out of it, I like to use my needle nose pliers and just squish it, flatten it down so it doesn't slide off. Okay, so now we've got this little tuft here, little. A little thingy that we made and I think it's too big I'm gonna put it on my cat, kitty cat here and it's too big so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more and I'm gonna trim it like like um like if I'm doing little V's or you know up and down see what I did there there's a shadow I don't know where that's coming from because I have all these lights everywhere and I am hot it doesn't help that I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt but anyway I created this little tuft and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bend this little bit here the, the little bottom here so that this little little tip of this centered bit of tool will kind of fold upward just to create a little bundle right there and I'm just gonna put lots of glue on it get it into the tool so it doesn't drip off the tool. I just want it to get in there. And then we're just going to stick it into here. We want it to grab the little trim that we put in there. I'm just going to push it in with my finger. And of course I've got my little stick. Just kind of tuck it in there. All right. We let that dry. Oh boy. There we go. Can you see that on there? It just got tucked right in there, and it covers up that little hole, but it's glued onto the sides to the little chenille bits that I put on here. So now it's got like a little tuft of little furry hair going upward. I just think that looks cute, and you don't have to do that. It just looks cute to me. Okay, so now we have a little bat, and we have our little ribbon. We can take our ribbon and maybe make a little bow on the top. Some of it can go around the neck. I did put this chenille stem, so I don't need it around the neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a multi-looped bow, and I think I'm going to put it kind of up to the side, just a little one. I'm just going to trim the edge at, a, at an angle, and I'm just going to do like maybe, 
I don't know, three loops. Let's see how that looks. And they're really tiny little loops, a little tight. That is cute. I think that's cute enough. Actually, it's gonna go in the front. I think that's, let's do four. Let's do four little loops. Another kind of slanted cut. I still have a little bit of ribbon left over. I need a piece of wire. Wrap that around. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to use my pliers again because I like to grab all the... Oh, well, we can trim some of these ends here. I don't want to trim them too short because what happens is the wire pops open because they're real short and then the whole bow gets destro destroyed. So you want to leave a little length and then just roll it within itself. Make a little thing like that. <sighs> so cute. I like little things. I just think they're so cute. Okay, I'm going to put her or his little bow, whatever you want them to be. If you want them, you want it to be a bow tie up in the front, you can do that. That looks really cute, actually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what do I do? Gosh. Oh, I'm going to put it up on the top. I really like it. She's going to be a girl. Well, it doesn't matter. You can be a boy with a little bow on the top. Why not? We're not going to be telling her him how to dress. Okay. Oh, it just, it just looks cute, whether it's a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter. And then, of course, I got my little bat. My little bat has a little clip thing here, which you could just use to clip on, like, onto things. And because I did glue this down, it's not going to clip on there. So I'm just going to get, let's see, I'm going to get a little piece of chenille. Actually, let's just take the clip off of it, put some glue, and glue him wherever you want. And I'm going to glue him right here at his neck, because you know what? It's coming over for some blood. All right. <laughs> if that's too gruesome for you, put it on the top of the head. But there we go. Our little kitty cat. Our little witch companion. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a better look up close. All right, everyone. So I've completed my little black cat companion to our little witch. And I think they look really cute together. Thanks again to Peggy Johnson for the idea. I actually remembered a name. <laughs> So uh, any of y'all have any ideas, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. Uh, leave a nice comment. They're all appreciated. Give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. Make sure you share your social medias and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you to all my friends who have done so. I love you all very much and I'm enjoying myself and uh, you all inspire me to continue doing this. Uh, also, I'd like to let you know there is a little bell notification button next to the subscribe. So go ahead and hit that out as well so you'll be notified when my videos comes up. Tuesdays, it's crafts. Fridays, normally it's recipes. For the holidays, I'm changing it up and I'm doing all crafts. I may throw some recipes here and there, maybe on a Saturday or middle, in the middle of the week. I don't know at this moment because I'm very, very busy. I know that a lot of you like to see the food videos, but the reality is that my craft videos get a lot more views, and that does help me to be able to afford to buy more supplies, not only for the crafting, but for the uh, food videos. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say, and uh, as always, enjoy. Oh no, I forgot to add the tail. So let's do that. Here's a little piece of uh, chenille. I'm just going to take it, fold it in half, pinch it, and I'm going to twist it a little bit. Then I'm going to take my hot glue, put little dots here and there to make sure that it doesn't untwist. And just put a little dot right there. Another little dot over here. Just like that. Twist it a little bit more. And I'm going to take the part where the two ends met right here. Glue that to the back here. My hot glue isn't quite ready. Put a little glue there. 
glue down the little tail just like that get it up close so you can see and then I'm going to bring the tail around to the front and I'm just going to curl it a little bit here put a dot of glue right there and stick it down so there's the little tail and there we go <laughs> enjoy <laughs>